Hi everybody, Heather Stargazer here to do a reading for Sagittarius for July. Hope you guys are doing well, my Sag fam. Let's see what the message is the universe has for you today. Ooh, four of wands, five of cups the sun. All right, so we might be feeling a little bit left out. We might be lamenting something of our past. Ten of Wands, um, you know, it was a home situation, a family situation. We got Ten of Pentacles out. We'll say it. yes, home family situation. Um, right, but there was something very burdensome about it. Two tens in a row, but don't worry, right? Um, whatever that was is coming to completion. We just might, might not be able to see it yet. We have the moon, so we have the sun and the moon out on the board. We need this Ten of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Six of Swords underneath that world card, Six of Pentacles on the bottom. So we have two sixes, um, two sixes and two tens coming out, and the world. Major completions over a period of time. Um, while we were in this situation, we might not have realized uh, how burdensome it was. We might need um, to really take a moment through our, I heard grief, through our grief, and realize... Um, what the weight of it that we actually were carrying, right? And how much, how, you know, there's like this, this uh, balance. I heard balance. We have uh, six of pentacles, two of pentacles, and that's all about juggling and that's about generosity and that's about who gets what, um, where, who gets what I heard, who gets what. Um, and it might be really uh, a lot to consider, right? We might have to really look at all of, all of these things. Three of cups in the reverse. Like I said, this wasn't necessarily the happiest of situations. It was really stressful. It was really burdensome. There was a lot of things that were unknown, right? Um, the people around us might not have been necessarily been super honest with us. They might have been um, talking about us behind our back. I say us always like puts us me in the situation with you, right? But there's this uh, nine of pentacles in the reverse by kind of like really acknowledging what was happening, feeling it, and letting go of it. It gets us out of this space and then we're cutting off communication we're not going back there we're not hearing any communication either and that's good that's it, it's actually when things are brought to light we um five of coins yeah we're leaving that behind us if they if uh, previously we had felt left out now it's um our turn to be to be in the end now we have two fives five of the saves five of coins um over this ten of pentacles right? And page of swords in reverse. Yeah, I'd be really careful about who you say what to if you want to maintain your peace of mind here, right? The arguments are petty. They're not really going anywhere and they're designed to keep someone on the outs. So um, the moon, now we have the moon in reverse over the moon. We have seven of swords coming out. Yeah, there, there's a tower in reverse and the sun again. We get the sun twice, you guys, queen of pentacles on the bottom. It's about who you're giving your generosity to. And when it does come to light, when we do see what's actually happening here, um, it's like the it's like the masks come off, the truth comes out. You are not surprised because you've heard, kind of heard this before. You kind of got news about this before. They kind of got news about this before. They knew what they were doing to try to keep uh, keep these uh, keep you from moving forward. I heard keep you from moving forward. Um, the tower over the six of swords. They didn't want you to be able to leave. They wanted to keep you in this space so that you would have to stay there. Um, but unfortunately for them, you know what you're giving to and who you're giving to and what you're not giving to and who you're not giving to, who you're reserving from. I heard who you're reserving it from, right? And that's bringing you into the light and you can move forward now. Two suns and the queen of pentacles, you are coming out on top 100%, 110%. Um, and you're doing this with your head held high because you knew better, right? Embrace spirit. Spirit. Spirit is here for you. They want you to learn these lessons so that you can know how strong you are. Time to ground, right? Keep your keep yourself grounded. Keep your feet on the ground. Keep yourself centered um, in spirit, right? And trust in the magic. No, this is all happening for your greatest and highest good um, because you can't stay there in this situation. It's too burdensome. It's too much, right? Heed the messages. You might get other um, little intuitive hits, little intuitive knowings coming from, um, you have birds here. You got lots of birds here. So there's definitely messages happening. Um, take them if you feel that little intuitive hit, if you feel that little like tweet, tweet coming to you. Oh, I said tweet. I don't even have Twitter, but maybe, I mean, I do, but I don't use it. So 
heed the messages when they come through. Make sure that you're staying grounded and knowing that these things are happening to get you through the mist. Here we go. That's about moving forward, but not being able to quite see where we're going, what's ahead of us, because the um, the path is kind of kind of clouded, just like this moon card does, just like the seven of swords. Look at how Look how similar they are here. And it's about you, um, and it's interesting, too, that it's a two over a two. You're going to make it through this. You're going to do just fine, her, she, we. Right, here we go with that community card. Um, finding new loving community, finding new loving friends, um, and the unseen. Yeah, because there's a lot going on behind the scenes. I mean, that that, that you are, un there's things that you're aware of and things that you are unaware of. And, and you might not become aware of all of it, but what you do become aware of is um, the deception and the um, the triggering you so that you will stay there and keep giving to a situation that doesn't have your best interest in mind. And the people around you who love you um, are going to might overhear something and pass that message along to you that helps you navigate through this to get to the other side. There's, like I said, there's lots of things that um, are unseen, but um, as long as you can see the step right in front of you and know that you're headed in the right direction, keep moving. You have people here for you, people here who love you, right? So just uh, trust in the magic. Trust that that's all designed for your greatest and highest good to get you from that dark night of the moon um, to uh, to the sun, that bright, bright, shining, um, beautiful, beautiful, warm day, which is what you're headed for. So congratulations. I hope that was helpful. I hope that you got something out of it. Thank you so much for being here. And uh, please come back and see me again next time.